Hi, this is the Math Wiz again, and this is basically going to be a kind of follow-up to the video I'm posting where Matt kind of really snaps. For those of you who haven't seen this video, I will be putting a link to it right there. God, I love annotations. Basically, before Matt started swearing at Hal, who was the name of the person who was calling in, Matt was trying to say that what he was doing, namely assuming that the Chinese characters he was talking about came from God until other evidence is in, is exactly what scientists are doing, which obviously got Matt pretty pissed. In fact, I say in that other video that that is probably the way to piss him off. Now, as an example, Hal gave the multiverse theory and basically said that scientists are assuming that a multiverse exists until proven otherwise. Now this, quite honestly, is certainly not the case. You see, they aren't assuming that it's existing, they are simply positing that it might. Basically, our current explanation of the Big Bang called the inflationary model is a model which solves quite a few of the problems that the original Big Bang theory had. For example, the flatness problem, why the universe is so flat, the horizon problem, the monopole problem, why there are so few monopoles, in fact, actually we haven't even seen one monopole in the lab, and the inflationary model is consistent with every observation that we currently have. However, one of the things that it predicts is a multiverse. This is a scientific principle called induction, where you take some little pieces and you kind of say, okay, maybe I can generalize that to say that that is the whole. Now, at times it might seem like scientists are assuming something, however, this is very different from what Hal was doing. The assumption that scientists generally make, or statisticians usually, is, is temporary. It's called the null hypothesis. And the only reason why they bother assuming it is because they absolutely have to in order to get anywhere. For example, if I claim to have a miracle pill which will make you taller if you take it, basically, they have to run an experiment where basically they split you into people into two groups. They give one group the pill and they give one group basically a sugar pill that does nothing called a placebo. Then they assume that the pill has absolutely no effect. That's the assumption. This assumption is temporary and it only runs for the duration of ex the experiment. However, it is absolutely necessary to get the ball rolling. Once they assume that the null hypothesis that they're is no effect with the pill is true, then they compare the differences in growth between taking the placebo and taking the actual uh, pill, and then seeing what the chances are that you will get that difference if there's no growth. If there is a very low chance below what's called the level of significance, then we conclude that that probably wasn't due to chance, there's probably something else going on, most likely, that the pill has some effect. So yes, Hal, scientists do make some assumptions, but it's nothing like you are doing. And I'm out.